what is going on you guys today we are going to be some doing something pretty simple i don't know if you noticed this venom on the car right here so we got this from cj pony parts actually this is the excelitech deck lid that's on the vehicle and probably about a year no probably about eight months to a year of having it um all the paint just started or the clear coat just started cracking on it cr cracking across the entire deck lid and being in florida i mean i know how hot it is but really so anyways we got a new deck lid right here let's go ahead and open this guy up to see what it looks like i haven't even opened it up yet it's been sitting there for days damn i don't remember the last time i saw a deck lid that looked this good oh my gosh this is beautiful Look at that. So we do on this one, from what it looks like here, let me set this guy down. We do have to replace our tabs on here with the ones that's on the car right now, but that should be fairly simple. So let's go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and start taking off the old one so we get this one put on there for us. So first thing we are going to do is we're going to pull down these guys right here and that'll give us access to our screws. On the inside, there's four screws right there. I think we have to take off this, uh, this piece right here, I can't remember correctly, but we're going to anyways, just in case. Let's go ahead and set that guy down. Now let's go ahead and unhook this one right here. And now to get this guy off, there's a little tab on the inside. I don't know if you could see it. We actually have to push down on it. And as we push down, it'll unclip it from that little tab and this will pop right out. Don't try to force it all the way out or else you're just gonna break that little plastic piece right there and it's not gonna wanna hook on there anymore. So for these little push pins right here, this is a really simple trick. All you have to do is just get behind it and then just pull straight out and it'll start popping them all out. So let's go ahead and get all these out. Uh -huh. We do need to because we have to get to the camera right there. So first thing we're gonna do is just unplug the camera right there. And we are going to be replacing our camera on from here right onto there. Let me go get my set. We have four uh, seven millimeter screws from what it looks like. Yeah, these are seven millimeter screws. Careful not to drop them in there. You drop them in there, it's gone forever. Now that all those are out, the easy part now is just prying this guy up. So first thing you wanna do is actually make sure that none of this right here is sticking to it. And as you can see, none of mine is, which is great, perfect. Now what we wanna do, we wanna actually pull downward. So if we look at this guy here, these are like locking tabs on it basically. And basically what they do is everything here, the push pins right here, all these get pushed upward and that's where it holds. And then we have our four bolts that hold right there. So we wanna pull downward, if we're looking at it this way, pull downward this way in order to get the uh, deck lid off. So let's go ahead and let me show you what we're gonna do here. If you have a plastic pry tool, that works a lot easier because you don't wanna break this. In my case, I don't really care because it's being replaced. And look at that, look how easily mine came out. So right here are our four plastic tabs. And then these guys are the ones that we're gonna have to be replacing onto our old one. So let me go ahead and get this camera off. And let me see here. I'm actually gonna clean this guy off here too. So I'm going to get all that done, then we'll pick up afterwards. I went ahead and I swapped the camera over and then I realized I forgot to record. So basically all we had to do was these clips right here. I don't know if you could see it but there's little teeth right there on the inside and they basically sit like there. Just get a flat head and pry upward on it and pull up at the same time and they'll basically pop out. Now for these guys right here, they do have a little bit of play in them. So if you have a pick or something, just get it to lift up. And then after you get that, all you have to do is just get a flat head or something to pull it up just like here. Once you do that, we could pull up on both sides and we should be able to get it. Let's see here, there we go. Just like that, now you see what the clip looks like on the inside there, and basically how it pushes in, it holds itself. Now let's get the other side for the screws, and then we can go ahead and start installing it. Now that we have all of our hardware basically set up, um, all we have to do here now, I'm missing screws from the original deck lid, so we're just gonna try to figure out which ones went here, and if we put it right up to it, it's basically the two most outer ones. That's weird, that one has an extra on that side but I think that's from the original deck lid. If you're switching it from the original deck lid, then well, it'll be easier for you to understand that. But all we have to do here is just put these guys in 
and they are self-locking so they're not gonna pull up now because of those little teeth on the inside there and then let's do the same thing on this side all we have to do is just put these guys in and then we go ahead and install our deck lid now to get these in we might need a pair of pliers let me see here all right so i was able to get it with my finger all you have to do is push really hard if you can't get it get a pair of pliers just squeeze it a little bit and you should be good to get it in there we're basically ready to swap over the entire deck lid. First thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm actually going to go ahead and ceramic coat it. The reason why I'm gonna do that, just to protect it. So hopefully that doesn't happen like it did on our other ones. So let me go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and start installing it. All right, so we went ahead and put our ceramic coat on our deck lid now. Now for the easy part. All right, so we did have to cut off a few more tabs. We had to cut off a tab right there. This one didn't come with that piece, so we had it blocked out, and we had to cut off this tab here. Basically, all we need is our four alignment tabs for our clip-ins, and then our two other alignment tabs right next to the cameras there. Now we should be able to fit it just like so. If we line up all of our tabs here, perfect. And then once we get it aligned, just push in. Beautiful. And it'll align perfectly just like that now all we have to do now after that is just put back in our four screws seven millimeter screws and we will be done so let's go ahead and install these now now these screws don't have to be super tight i'm just making them snug so be sure not to over tighten them because it'll just start pulling on plastic now we have that guy installed easy part now is just to reinstall our carpet and we'll be done so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and move on to what else we're doing for today Bring me a dream. Dun, 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 dun. Our trunk lid, deck lid, is installed now. Sweet. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be installing a clutch spring. Let's go grab it here. Now, if you keep up with Stita's basically products and whatnot, they created a clutch spring that basically kind of gives the pedal feel back. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. Rip. There we go. It basically gives you a way better pedal feel. So I'll see if I can find the YouTube video and I'll link it in the description below. But basically what this spring does is it gives it a more linear feel on the clutch paddle rather than it being, you know, light and then heavy and then light again toward the bottom. They, they did a video testing exactly how much pressure it affects. But what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be installing the spring and the actual, I don't know what it's called for it, uh, the perch, there we go. The perch for it we're gonna be installing both of these and hopefully should be making our clutch pedal feel way better now now this is a pretty easy install so don't worry too much about it the only thing you will need though is some grease and a vice grip that is probably the only things that you will need for this let's go ahead and open up our spring as well here here's our spring wow i could actually squeeze with my hand the spring that's in there, I think it's like a 150 pound rating spring. And there's, that thing is so hard, you can barely squeeze with the damn vice grips. So what we're gonna do, let me go and set up the camera and let me see if I get a shot in there real quick. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so before we install this perch here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to just go ahead and grease it up. So what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of grease right here. All I'm using is just standard white lithium grease. So once we go ahead and do that, now that that is installed, we're just going to set this inside and let me go ahead and show you an easy way to take off the spring. Um, I'm going to be doing it without a vice grip. Just wear something to protect your eyes, at least, please. <laughs> because uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to basically just shoot off the spring inside there. But it's all right. It's still safe. Just a little bit of arm muscle and we'll be good to go. All right. So uh, you can see our clutch pedal is right there. And here is our spring all the way up top here. Now what we're gonna do, we're basically just gonna push in our clutch pedal and we're gonna use a flathead to just put it in between and we're gonna push that guy off. Now you gotta be really careful with this because it is most likely going to shoot off. It's coming off, but now I'm gonna scare it because it feels way more tension, so let me grab a vice grip. Now we've got the spring off. Now all we have to do is just put our new spring on 
and put our perch in. Now this is gonna be a lot easier, mainly because we already, uh, the spring has a lot less tension on it. So we could actually squeeze this one with our hands to make it a lot easier to go in. So make sure you have your grease on there. And then first thing we're gonna do is if you look at this piece at the top, there's like a little indent that it sits into. So all you have to do is just feed it up in there. And then the bottom part is just gonna hook on to the bottom right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then boom, just like that, our new clutch spring is now in. Now, if we look, here's our old spring. This is rated for 150 pounds. I don't know if you noticed, I could barely squeeze that thing in there. And which is why our clutch pedal is so light and also why it has such progressive feel rather than such linear. So now what we're going to do is get everything together and we're gonna go on our test drive. So I'll see you guys in a second. So first impressions, clutch pedal got a lot heavier except there's a little bit of play at the top of the pedal which does make sense considering that there's no strong enough spring anymore pushing down on the pedal to bring it all the way back up to its right position but that's okay because it kind of reminds me of a cable clutch actually <laughs> oh well let's go ahead and go on a test drive so we could actually feel this baby, see how she actually feels. Oh gosh. Don't forget to do one thing like I did. I forgot to reconnect the backup camera. So technically we do not have a camera right now, but it's fine. Get your license, you don't need a camera. Well actually you're not allowed to use a camera. In Florida at least. I don't know other states do it. Oh my gosh, this feels so much better. I can actually feel the clutch now, wow, so. If you've driven a 2018, 2019 Mustang, you know that the clutch is much lighter than the 2015 to 2017s. And basically, while well, putting, because we put in this spring now, this completely just changed where the grabbing point was on the clutch. It makes it way easy. So you have a lot less travel distance now in the clutch. See, I can barely find where the clutch is now. There it is. Oh my gosh, I love this. And now the clutch is a lot, it's more toward the top. That's where the grabbing point is on it. This is so much better. All right. So anybody that has a 2015 to 2020 Mustang, I this is definitely a hands down first mod that you should do to your car. And the reason why I say that is because if you've driven a 2000 and a brand new basically S550 Mustang, you know that that clutch pedal is extremely light. And the reason why they do that, you know, they, they wanna make the car easier to drive. But in reality, you could barely feel the clutch because of that feature, you know, because of that tight spring that is inside of there it's so hard to get a hold of it. And that makes finding the clutch so much harder. When we took uh, Nicole's old car up to Georgia and traded it for 2019, I almost stalled the car because I couldn't find where the dang clutch was because it was hard and then it got super soft and then it got really uh, tight again. So this mod right here makes it so much better. Definitely adds linear feel to it. So you don't have, you know, you don't, it's not that initial fight and then extremely loose and then the fight again this is just same weight the entire way i think this the, the spring is like a 35 pound i think something like that we got another mustang is that a shelby wow that is a shelby that was beautiful and look we have a vet here too that's a ferrari california are you kidding me highly recommend this product to anybody definitely definitely would make this a part of a first mod even rev matching it's so much easier to rev match now <laughs> uh oh this is this is interesting this is way better than i was expecting let's see here. oh no we just scraped our lip 
let's try something here. makes driving the car so much easier. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the deck lid or the Steeda clutch spring, be sure to shoot me a message, drop a comment, or just shoot me a message on Instagram as well. I'll leave everything in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, go ahead and uh, leave the links to both products. I got the deck lid off eBay actually for like 70 bucks, so we'll see how that holds up. If not, then we'll, you know, we'll go with a little bit more reputable brand, but we'll see in time. I did ceramic coat it as well, so hopefully that'll hold up a lot longer. But anyways, guys, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.